Hey everybody, welcome to the murder at the Excelsior Hotel. When they announced this, I thought it was a joke. I was like, is this one of those joke ones, like the <laughs> stupid blob that eats everything? No, nope, this is an official standalone with no... Isn't that one also an official standalone? It is, but like, like... it's like... But it's like the Labyrinth of Lunacy one, I think it's like a little lackluster if you don't play with a big group. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. I thought it was like one of the... Convention uh, ones. But yeah, we're uh, Brain killed somebody, and we're going to make sure he I is did, charged with this crime. I did no such thing. <laughs> okay. uh, intro one. There have been reports of a strange of strange occurrences at Arkham's Excelsior Hotel for over a month now. Disappearances. Bizarre sightings. Sudden closures, sometimes for days at a time, seemingly without warning. It's like something out of a ghost story. But you know better than to simply dismiss these rumors. Too many people have whispered about the Excelsior. And to make matters worse, it seems the stories have only grown more unsettling in the last week. It's time somebody looked into it all. You've tried going to the police, but the grizzled and world where Sergeant Monroe has dismissed you every time. You've been left to investigate on your own, asking around all the local hot spots yields no leads. Belma's Diner, Hibbs Roadhouse, La Bella Luna. Every, each visit leaves you with only more questions. That is, until today. While walking down Central Avenue in downtown, minding your own business, you bump into a man in a long trench coat. And then you kill him for it. <laughs> your, your own cultist business, business. You begin to apologize, but he simply continues walking briskly away from you. It isn't until you return home that you find the note in your pocket, one that wasn't there before. I have answers. Room 225. Tonight, come alone. They're watching. Uncertain of what else you can do at this point, you begin making preparations to meet this mystery person. There is more than one vest care in the game, skipped intro 3. The Excelsior is busy tonight. Either rumors haven't phased these guests, or the stories have given the hotel a new allure. Everything seems normal. Hotel staff carry luggage and cleaning supplies throughout the lobby and the main stairway. The man behind the front desk greets you with a curt nod and a thin smile. A uniformed security guard reads the latest Arkham advertiser in the corner. And yet... You can't get the note's final warning out of your mind. You stride quickly across the lobby and up the stairs, taking some measure of comfort in the knowledge that you at least contacted others you could trust, letting them know of your whereabouts and intent. Your clandestine meetings have rarely gone as planned, especially lately. It never hurts to have some measure of backup. You stand before the blood red, room, blood red door to room 225, take a deep breath, and knock. There's no going back now. Oh, good. <clears throat> You sit in a chair in the suite's living room, watching as the man who slipped you the note paces about nervously. He rambles about secret meetings and watchful staff. The entire time, you find yourself glancing to the coffee table in front of you and the curved dagger that rests there. He pauses for a moment, pours himself a drink, and raises the glass to his lips with a shaky grip. He then pours a second drink and hands it to you. This is all going to sound crazy, he says, his voice a little more than a whisper. He glances at every darting shadow and twitches at every creak the old building makes. I'm, I'm beginning to feel more crazy. And there's, there's too much going on here. There's just no more. And I've been a part of it long enough. You listen closely, but his words are starting to run together. His voice is ethereal and wispy, like wind at the end of a long tunnel. Mm. You blink rapidly. Your vision blurs. The next thing you know, you're on your feet. Your glass drops to the floor. And then proceed to set. Got all that stuff aside, leading Vescare 225, each other Vescare in the foyer. Um, you guys want to read flavor for these? Yeah, then, sure. Oops. The murder. When you come to, you're standing over the man's body. You recall immediately at the grisly sight. Multiple stab wounds perforate his chest. Blood spills onto the floor. He did it. What in the hell happened here? You didn't have to make a test. Like, that's just <laughs> so pure efficiency. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why can't you so remember good. a thing? If there's only one investigator in the game, this agenda gets plus one doom threshold. Nope. Nope. Three. I really got one up on the game on that one. <laughs> Your head is spinning as you try to make sense of the situation. Empty bottles are scattered about the room. Your hands tingle. The shadows seem to coil and writhe around you. Were you drugged? Or is this something else entirely? Action, spend one per investigator clues as a group. Draw the top card of the leads deck. Objective, if the investigators control two lead assets, advance. Nice. Um, so like, we probably shouldn't kill people with that dagger right that's probably a bad thing to do i already um (laughs) (laughs) why didn't you tell me that uh patrol send me to the patrol keyword during the enemy phase in frame rex 
framework step 3.2 if you guys have that memorized. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Each, <laughs> each ready and unengaged enemy with patrol keyword moves towards a connecting location along the shortest path toward the designated location. Um, as described, parentheses next to the word patrol. So it's like hunter but for location. Okay. If there are multiple locations that qualify as the designated location, the lead investigator may choose which location Ooh, the enemy moves towards. Right. And if an enemy with patrol be compelled to move to a location which is blocked by a card ability, the enemy does not move. For example, if the door is locked, they can't walk through the locked door. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're going to have an interlude that we'll read later, but not now. Okay. Uh, as an action on our location, Travis, oh we can God. resign. It's like 10 pages this interlude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, forced, when you attempt to move out of the foyer, while there's at least one guest enemy here, test foot X, where X is the number of guest enemies. Uh, here, if you fail, you must spend one additional action to move out of the foyer. I can solve guest enemies. You can? I can too. Uh, and there's room 225, which is where Bryn is. As an action, test brain 3. If you succeed, remember that the investigator has cleaned up the blood. Test foot fist 3. If you succeed, remember that the investigators hid the body. Uh, test book 3. If you succeed, remember that the investigators tidied up the room. Let's go. I'm a pet. I know how to do this. Don't cover up a crime. This is like your thing. <laughs> Let's uh, bury the evidence. <laughs> so I'm playing Akachi with my charges deck. My purple cards. How much experience is in your standalone deck, Travis? 48. 48? You didn't want to go to 49 just to get the... <laughs> I, I just I couldn't find one of that cost one I wanted. Uh, I am a Roland Banks. I have 29 experience in my deck. Uh, my stick to the plan has an ever vigilant and extra ammunition and are prepared for the worst. So yes, I you do just have. Just go back guns. and watch all the videos I've used that card in and be like, these are the good ones. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it pretty much writes itself. Yeah, uh, I'm playing Diana Stanley. I have nine experience in my deck. So <laughs> clearly, we all have a very different approach, or at least I have a different approach to deck building. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just I was lazy. <laughs> I didn't want to take cards out of the dream of your sex. And, uh, I got this four of cups to start the game with. Lucky. Put me up at six brain. That's pretty That's cool. That's pretty good. You and I come up here and clean up some blood. <laughs> yeah, we should like... You think I'm a maid? Yes. We're I mean, my maids. book's too, so like, yeah, I'll go do We're that. all maids today. Uh, can we walk in there for me? No uh, idea. No, we have to go to the second floor hall, which makes sense because we have to go up the stairs or the elevator okay. because it's the year 1926. At least since it's the 20s, we probably have someone to operate the elevator for us. Yeah, bing! Mm -hmm. uh, so, shroud of two, three clues. After you enter this location, you may immediately move to a connection, connecting location. If you do, reveal a random token from the bag. If it's a bad symbol, you draw the top card of the encounter deck. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you got me, Jim. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, I'll do it. Damn it. Hotel guest. Humanoid guest innocent spawns in the nearest hall location. Aloof patrol the nearest crime scene location. Forced at the end of the enemy phase, if the hotel guest is at a crime scene location, add one doom to the hotel guest. As an action, parley test brain or book three. If you succeed, discard hotel guest. Victory zero hits you for a heart. Uh, you hit me for a heart? You just punch me in the fucking chest? Yeah, for my second action, I'm gonna play Holy Rosary. And I'm going to try and clean up that mess you made, Bryn. <laughs> My good friend. I, I have a very I strong... I thought you were meeting him. Why'd you kill him? I have a very strong argument as to why I couldn't... I wouldn't have done this, why I'm innocent. You have a knife in your carter. Why would you kill him? Why would you stab him? Because you back to your old ways, Diana. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be in rehab. Blood, blood for the blood god. Oh, uh, <laughs> what was the test I was making? Uh, three. Oh, yeah, I crushed it. All right, we have cleaned up the blood. Okay. But we still, the body's still there, and the room is still That's a mess. Fine. You want to pass me that pad of paper, man? A pad of paper, there's like four of uh, them. Here, hand that, that one on top. That's the one that's... that's scrap scores. paper? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay, um, so we're going to kill her, right? Or, <laughs> like, <laughs> what do we do about her? I mean, you could probably talk to her. Your book's pretty okay. I could also talk to her in the future. My, My brain, brain is actually one. My brain is through the roof. Okay. Um, Day I'm gonna, seven. Uh, yeah, we'll try to talk with her. You should probably just leave. It's not good for you to be here. And she's like, okay. I'm going to play field work for action number one. Good choice. Good choice. Uh, let's move into here. Oh, man. He's doing field work. Oh, no. I'll, I'll, she'll, she's going to punch me this turn. Uh, so actually, I'm not going to do that field work because I won't be able to talk with her this turn. Because okay. she's aloof. She's just going to have to punch me. I'm 
mean, all I know, like, I'm literally looking at three guns in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I, I came prepared to do the wrong thing. Yeah. I have to do my cop part of my character, not my murderous rampage part of my yeah, character. Yeah, but, like, if you murder her, one of these clues could be yours. Oh, that's right. Because of my ability, I was like, what? Is there some sort of... Like, oh, just that's what my character does, right? <laughs> oh my god. Information just falls out of me. Um, okay, I'm gonna gain a resource, move into here, and then I'm gonna engage her. Well, it's like, this, okay. the cop part of your character actually is you shoot yeah. them and you go through their pockets and you're like, hmm, this person was innocent. Yeah, fuck. Well, now I know. <laughs> Try this. I probably didn't kill this guy because I would have used my own knife. <laughs> I have a better one. It's actually worse right now, but pay no attention to that. Look, we all know that addictions are like, it's like an impulse thing, like, as long as you remove the uh, the opportunity to do it, or at least it's much more difficult to resist temptation if the opportunity is there. You're in a room alone with this man, there's a knife on the table. No, it's his fault he asked me to come here. And speaking of which, can you get rid of that? Get rid of what? <laughs> the knife that's covered in blood. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> This is my knife. I got two knives. I gotta tell you guys, it's pretty great. Uh, I'm gonna play Draw to the Flame. Two encounter cards oh, drawn before the game's turn. Oh Which my. <laughs> You're not what I was hoping you were. Yeah, right. Did you guys cheat the hallway like I did? No. Because she was in there. Um, you found a man for just this? Kill? I found a man. He's a con he's some conspicuous staff. I think I'm gonna stab him. <laughs> I've got two clues though. So that's cool. <laughs> you woman, what are you doing with that blade knife? Stabbing people? Hey. <laughs> stabbing you. <laughs> um just like being rinsed off. I could use the clean one if you're scared of getting blood diseases. So the, they, notice like they are not innocent. She is innocent. Yeah. So we probably don't want to kill innocent people. Justin thinks. Uh, so minus X is X is the number of <laughs> guest enemies in play, which is currently one. The cultist is minus one. If there's an innocent enemy in the victory display, reveal another chaos token. Mm, okay, yep. Um, minus three <laughs> tablet. You may place one of your clues on your location to treat this as a minus one instead. Okay. Minus three if you fail and there's an innocent enemy in the victory display, take one horror. Wow, the synergy. Make it a minus one, kill an enemy, just get the clue right back. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna exhaust this blood stain dagger. Oh, he's gonna attack this guy for plus two, so we've got five to three. I'll Here I go, stab him again. <laughs> maybe he and I'll did commit it. this to the Maybe F3. he did it. Maybe. I'm not gonna say he did it, but maybe he did it. Minus one. There's no <laughs> innocence in the victory display. Don't be ridiculous, Roland. Diana would never stab someone. He's <laughs> just coming like, I just cleaned <laughs> up the blood. <laughs> now you have to hide two bodies, man. What are you doing? Well, one body fits a closet really easy. I get to, I get what to draw do? a card now. What are we going to do when the police get here and they open up the closet and like six bodies fall out? Uh, well, <laughs> like, no. yeah, I don't know. How I hadn't there. thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. That's my three actions. Oh yeah, money and cards. Ho ho, just crushing on not dodging those five weaknesses, six weaknesses in my deck. <laughs> uh, bong, evil card starts with you, Bryn. Yeah. My god, I'm the lead investigator, hey? Oh, this is probably from cleaning up the blood. <laughs> blood on your hands, yes, literally. This is humanoid. Uh, is this like a minus five? Minus three. The nearest humanoid enemy ready moves one location at a time until it reaches your location, engages you, and makes an immediate attack. Like. Okay, I guess. I'm not like super cool with that, but I don't hate it. I'm hey, gonna, me too! <laughs> uh, I've got a thing for this. I'm gonna dodge her attack. Oh, sure. I won't. Uh, Get that brain score pay, up. It's apparently yeah. kind of important. I pay one, put this into the basement. So my score is currently, um, how am I going to denote that? Do you want to give a purple just, uh, die? Yeah, just purple. Yeah. The purple die on me is how many, how, how big the bonus is how many charges you have left. It's <laughs> not magic money this time. Uh, so I put this under me, I gain a resource and draw a card. Nice. So it effectively cost me zero. Sweet, we found our other knife. <laughs> Why do you have so many knives? For stabbing people. Because <laughs> she's a killer. Uh, hey, Travis. Yeah. What are you doing this turn? 
uh, gain resource and playing sick high powered high experience cards from my uh, head. As an alternative, uh, it, yeah, this, it's come, actually a brain three. I will come like... fix it. I'll move in there and talk to your person. Nice. Hello. Hi. You should probably leave and stop fighting, stop harassing my federal officer. <laughs> Do you know what happened? <laughs> this is my uh, personal FBI agent. Get out of here. <laughs> oh no, I don't. I'll try again though. Yeah, she's like, I'm not listening to you. Get out. Nice. Nice. Three. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> um, I'm going to gain a resource. <clears throat> and then I'm going to exhaust, stick to the plan, and play Ever Vigilant. And I'm going to play... Those. Sick. Shotgun, beat cop, field work. Uh, let's move in here to be with the squad. You want some bullets there? Yes, please. Nah, it's just an empty gun. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll exhaust field work and I'm gonna investigate my location. <laughs> Officer, I'm all the time just this corner where uh, <laughs> just run, rolling Should around with that hide the body? Uh, Oh yeah, let's have the body. Yeah, good as this. I mean, like, if we investigate, we could, I could on my turn draw the top card of the lead deck and we could see what that is. Yeah, let's do that. I could do that next turn, I'm in no rush. But to... if we remove the clue from here, you can't use the field work to help you to do better. Do the bodies or tidying. I do have I do have five to three, which is what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Do, 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 it's up to do, you. Uh, we're going to spawn an enemy during the drop phase, which I'm going to okay. kill, and guts are going to come out. So I'll do the five, seven to three. We'll uh, hide the body. Uh, body is hidden. Good job, everyone. Thanks, Travis. Uh, I'm going to go check out the balcony. See ya. Maybe there's someone there for me to kill. I'll push him <laughs> well, Trust me, they'll never suspect it if we just prop the body up in the chair like he's sleeping. <laughs> Choose a humanoid enemy at sweet balcony. <laughs> Then test punch or foot four. If Push you succeed, off. take one yes! to the power and defeat the chosen enemy. If, it, a... if that enemy is the elite, deal two damage to it instead. The hotel guest. This Bye. action does not provoke attacks. <laughs> Get <opportunity>. out. <laughs> oh no, where's where's Joe Diamond when you need him? Oh, I thought it was supposed to be a secluded place. Where are you doing up here? Commit the murder. Oh, what are you doing up here? G getting murdered. I'll draw. No. Is that turn? Um, I got one one more. I'm just going to play an emergency cash for money. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, no. There's a cover-up. Yeah. <laughs> it's us. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing that right now. <clears throat> That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Bong. Driven to madness. If there are no humanoid enemies in play, this game's surge. There, there are, are no humanoid, humanoid enemies. enemies in play. Okay, there's been... A crime. There's a humanoid <laughs> enemy. I can push him off a balcony. Hey? He doesn't spawn with you. He spawns with Justin. Oh, Justin could. Oh, Justin no. Brent's actually on a crime scene. Oh, I am. Hey? Oh, yeah, this isn't a crime scene yet, though. I haven't pushed anyone off. Uh, it doesn't matter. I just over here and smack me. <laughs> oh, okay. This violent outburst. Oh, I, I can't I'm stop good. that. Blood on my hands. It's probably from hiding the bodies. Ooh, two horror, you say. Three to two, you said. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to pick it. Minus zero, you say. Yeah, yeah. Easy, you say. <clears throat> oh, sorry, Travis, I cried chapter deck. So, someone want to come deal with this? Because I was busy not. Yeah. <laughs> Here I go stabbing people. <laughs> Yeah, when you guys come kill this person. All I need is kill. I know I was ragging on you that before, but like. <laughs> okay. Um. He's got two health, so maybe we don't need the shotgun. <laughs> but if I miss, I deal a lot of damage to you, and I want my revenge. <laughs> For what? <laughs> you know. All right, we're gonna attack uh, five to three. That seems pretty. Just risky. Those years ago, these are different characters. <laughs> Here, I'll engage. Thank you. Because you don't have a lot of health. No, I have six. Uh, I'm going to commit this prepared for the worst. Yeah, that's pretty fair. Uh, we have six to three. Minus two. You'll take one damage. Um, just here. Big boy two. toys. Easy. That's me. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, want me to grab some clues and you can work on the leads, Bryn? 
Yeah, sure. I was going to come back here and try to tidy up the room, but I only have three book, and uh, maybe I don't understand what a room's supposed to look like when it's tidy. <laughs> okay. I have a right of seeking with an extra charge on it. He remembered. I did. This That's is a level good. four right of seeking. I will do it. I get oh. I have... I have to succeed. Yeah, yeah, but like Justin gets this one for when he baked that guy oh, okay. away. Uh, this is a minus four, but I have nine, so... You do it. Give me all the clues. And then for my last action, I'm going to gain a money, because... We don't Fun. have to be in the same location, right? As, as, a group. as a group. As a group, yeah. Okay. Fun story, I actually Although have some level, Here, like, mine. two or level three, whatever they are, alchemical concoctions, or poop in the gold in here, because my cards are really expensive. <laughs> I mean... I you know, with her, you get the extra charge, so it's, like, slightly more worth well, it. Well, you test brain against zero. Yeah, so, like, yeah, it's... Like, I have, so is it to I have a, seven. Is it to a maximum of three, or is it... I think it's, like, a maximum of five or something. In uh, the upgraded one? I found yeah. a sinister solution. <clears throat> oh. Uh, revelation put into play into your play area. Force when you are defeated. Give control of it to another investigator. It is oh. a vile concoction. The flask is ice cold, and the sickly green liquid within has the consistency of syrup. It smells vaguely of fish and ozone. How would, oh, so how would I know what that smells like? This is 1922. What's that? Maybe you probably use that in your cult rituals. Hanging from the top of the flask is a tag stamped Test 1. Oh. Were these shuffled or put in a specific order? Shuffled. Okay, cool. Spoiler, that's how you determine which ending you get. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, that's it? For all um, of us? Oh. I get to play like two more, I guess. Oh wow. Bring I'll move so over here and I'll try to I'll try to put this room back in order committing a prepare for the worst. So we're four, at to four to three. Good luck. If anyone can do it, it's you, Diana. You're a master cleaner. Nope. Just kidding. You made a bigger mess. I've never seen a room before. <laughs> Walks in, walks around, cuts the curtains with the knife. <laughs> cards and resources? Perfect. Evil bomb. Amazing. Um as you retrace your steps to make sense of the situation, there's a pounding on the door suite. This is the police, a stern voice calls out. We've got reports of a disturbance. Open up. Put this out aside, Sergeant Monroe, into play in the foyer. You guys want to watch this guy die? Even though he's two days until retirement? <laughs> Oh no, poor guy. Maybe assign damage and or horrid dealt to an investigator's location, even if he is uncontrolled. While he's dealt any amount of damage, exhaust him. Deal that much damage to a non-innocent enemy at his location. Any investigator. He'll help us shoot the guests. Or the, the staff. Um, spawn one set aside Arkham officer enemy at the second floor hall. If there are three or four investigators, we spawn another. So these guys have patrol at nearest location with the most clues. Fourth in the enemy phase, move one clue <coughs> to Arkham Officer from his location, flip me to his doom side, parley test brain three. If you succeed, either it automatically evade or flip one, it's doomed to its clue side and take control of it. <sighs> brain that's us. Um, shuffle each other, set aside Arkham Officer enemy into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. All one. Here, you can do it. The lead investigator draws the set aside what have you done weakness. Wow, Brink gets a bonus weakness and he only has nine experience. Lucky guy. <laughs> I was trying to avoid I, this. I should have been first one. What have I seven. Done? It's a brain test? Uh, no. Oh, it's okay. like when he parlays, he discards. No, I just kept having more. Parlay, I must discard a card. Whatever. For each of the following circumstances, which is true, place one clue on room 225 from the token bank and place one doom on an Arkham officer. Uh, so the investigators have not we didn't tidy, tidy up the room. room. So one clue on here, and then one doom on each of these guys. <clears throat> on an Arkham officer. So we can put it both on one. But once again, I don't want to kill innocent peoples. Test three, if you succeed. They're not, they're not that innocent. <laughs> <laughs> if you, uh, the parlay, you can take the clues from them. So we, should we put it on one for you, Travis? Yeah, sure. <laughs> They're not that innocent, they're cops. <clears throat> That's it. I don't have to be engaged them to no. probably, right? No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Uh, place one doom on him. Uh, you're not the only one in interested in the strange events at the Excelsior tonight, and the police are on to you. You're still not sure what happened or if it can happen again. Forced, after investigator at the same location as a ready police enemy discovers one or more clues at that location or deals damage to a humanoid enemy, each ready police at that location engages that investigator and makes an immediate attack. So, you guys seen any stabbings tonight? 
<laughs> yeah, I stabbed this really suspicious looking. No, so, no, I mean, no. Oh, no yeah, this, I stabbed two, no, none people, no people. This won't trigger that because this is flipping the clue over. We're not yeah, discovering yeah. a clue. Yeah, yeah. That, that makes right. sense. It does make sense. Officer, so like there's nothing to be suspicious on <laughs> <I> here. Mean, <laughs> I was going to say, that's how, that's how cops work. That's how cops work. And the turn cards and resources. A we violent go. outburst. Nah. There's no violent outbursts here. <clears throat> Attached to the nearest non crime scene location. Attached location gets crime scene treatment plus two shove. When you successfully investigate attached location instead of discovering clues, discarding oh, okay. evidence. Right here. Uh, another cop's here as well. Lovely. Sick. Cop party. <laughs> Check it and see. <laughs> okay, so just gonna sit here. It's a crime scene. No, it's not the most. It's clues. Yikes. I bet they've been pushing people off the balcony. <laughs> no, Why I'm would you stabbing them. I mean, I think you, your job right now is unfortunately it's gonna hanging to with these guys yeah. and being like, so have you seen any good movies? That's okay. My cards cost a million to play. Trev's like, I got nothing but time. Yeah. I'm going to start off by playing All of My Pride, though. Nice. And then I, I will talk, talk to the one who has the stuff. Cool. It's a brain free test, if you dare. I did it. Flip over one of those. Do not discover a clue, nope. people watching on YouTube. And then I will uh, use all McBride for the second one. Sorry if you have three and pick two. Uh, what, it's a three? Minus, it's minus zero right now, there's no guests. No, but it's like, sorry, it's a... It's a three, yeah. Three. yeah. Then I will take these. Nice. I was hoping I could flex and take the two negative threes. And like, <laughs> <laughs> like, flip a clue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I do, I guess. That's my job. Yeah, that's pretty cool. When you guys want to use some of these clues to get some lead. Yeah, how about I do? What are you going to do on your brain? Are you going to stab these cops? Are you going to come out and just start stabbing cops? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, once, once you start stabbing, it's just it's yeah, it's so hard to stop. Yeah. <laughs> um, so all these guys... I stabbed this one. So these guys actually aren't too spooky scary no, with they're... you here. Like, you really make this... Oh, yeah, I just sit here and babysit them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move down to the foyer and get a clue off this, so then they, we can control where they move. And I think... <laughs> because I'm so suspicious. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to move into here. Uh, after investigator, there's a ready police enemy. Not me. Uh, we're going to pump up the jam. We're going to go five to two for my book That's test. pretty all right. Minus three. I do not fail. We'll grab a clue. Because I don't need to worry about cover up. It's basically just a dead draw, which is nice. Yeah, no. My normal weakness is similar to that. And uh, we're going to gain. I'm going to draw a card. I'm looking for something specific, and this is it. It's not. But oh. we could have dreamed. Okay. Um, I guess I'll use an action. Oh, no, so sorry. I should have done that. Sorry, Brent. I don't know why That's I was okay. going to do that. Yeah. Spend some clues. Uh, I have spent two years. So it's got to be. Yeah. Do you care about having clues? No. Okay. Me either. Nice. Oh, I found the manager's But anyway, key. I'm going to keep mine just in case there is a thing that requires, that punishes you for not having clues. Yeah, wait, man. Uh, <laughs> manager's key, stained by blood. Revelation, put it into your play area. When you are defeated, give control of it to another investigator. Mm -hmm. A seemingly inconspicuous key, the word office, etched on one side. Was the victim a member of the hotel staff? Like, probably. <laughs> What diabolical know, scheme work here? was in motion at the Excelsior? No, it was a red glove man. Bring you gum and ten games on <clears throat> your uh, brain check thing. Hmm. No, that's good. Don't worry about it. Um. You can push, push some cops. <laughs> woo! Woo! I think they're sitting <laughs> on the balcony. The cops coming. Woo! Come check them. Woo! Oh no, I'm being murdered. <laughs> <laughs> Push. I'll play a right of seeking. Nice. But like level zero. Yeah, like a little baby sorcerer. Yeah. <laughs> I am the master sorcerer. Uh, I'm gonna I, am, I have sorcerer under, that's my card, or my character type. That's what I got. Three for my last action. <laughs> um, I will play. Dark Prophecy, and draw five tokens. So many. 
Ooh, a plus one, hey. All good, then you're gonna draw one. the auto fail yeah. for the fifth one. Yeah. Got him. We've been here. We've been here before. Uh, what's this? Uh, minus one. Minus one? Yeah. Well, I'll take it and fail. <laughs> Uh, I will ignore the rest of these though and put this into my basement. Also, my turn is now over, but it was also over anyway. Oh no! I'll gain a resource and draw a card for putting a thing in my basement. Cards and resources down the uh, Sick. We can do it again! I'm throwing my turn the second time. I didn't throw anything. Like there were no actions left. Yeah, no, it was so funny. Bong, go to you, Bryn, for your evil card. card. Bad card. Oh my. Fuck you. It's a goddamn party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these uh, guys all moved. Yeah, they're supposed to be in Bryn's location. Or oh. my location. No, can... it's got the most clues. This one has the most clues. Yeah, so oh, I'm going to the bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not just like the location. Right. <laughs> They're like, uh, hello. Um, and also, at the end of the image, oh, conspicuous bellboy <laughs> fighting to the dead, like, hey, carry on. God damn it. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I'm gonna talk to this hotel guest. I can't do all of them. That's okay. I can do, like, probably almost none of them. <laughs> Great. Well, I will start off by talking to this hotel guest. So am I hello, testing? sir. It's brain three. Brain three. Give him my three chits. <clears throat> I will choose to resolve this one. So this is, like, negative, and this one. It's, like, negative three net. Nice. I get to add charge this. That's nice. pretty cool. He's gone. Go home. <clears throat> okay. You don't want to be here. Uh, then I'll walk into Bryn's location. I'll talk to one of these police officers before they go take the rest of the police. I'm supposed to advance the act. Oh, yeah. Too early. Uh, it isn't much, but it's all you've got. Your only option now is to explore the rest of the hotel and see what you can learn. Put the set, uh, put each of the set aside locations into play. Do 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 do. Hotel roof. Okay. Oh man, I wonder if we can push people off here for more damage. <laughs> they die harder. Room two one two. It's locked. I don't know the best way to do this. Room 245? Okay, wow. Just gonna move the balcony up there. All right. The office is connected to here, the foyer. Wow. Is it locked too? Uh, is locked, unless you control the manager's yeah. key. Oh no. <laughs> uh, basement gains as an action test of foot three to attempt to pick the lock. If you see, reveal the office and immediately move to it. Uh, and then we'll put the basement uh, here. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> okay. Um, depending on which... Remove the remainder of the leads from the game. Depending on which lead assets are in play, shuffle six cards the encounter deck as follows along with the encounter discard pile. Uh, alien device is not in play. Dang, that would have been fun. <laughs> that would have been so cool. Uh, the manager's keys in play. Three set-aside copies of hotel security. And the, the hotel... Not the manager himself, eh? Those guys are pretty messed up. Hotel security. Uh, if the sinister solution is the other one we have? Yes. Is it Three morbid awareness? Morbid awareness, yes. Oh, the other two sound so cool. Cultus of the Enclave? At least this one has a ton of replayability. That's nice. I know, that's why I said we could just play it for a while. <laughs> Following leads. Thanks to the leads you discovered in the suite, you're fairly sure whoever framed you is still in the hotel. He's in the basement! Uh, the only real question is where to find this person. Looking at leads you found, you feel like the answers are right in front of you. Okay. Objective. Learn more about your leads by placing clues on them, using abilities on some locations. The more clues, the better. At the end of each round, you may choose one. Choose to advance if each lead asset has at least player clues on it. Hint. If you wish to present this evidence to the police, you may wish to have each, each have two players' clues on the leads. So three or six on each lead. That's a lot. 
That's a lot of work. But if anyone can do it, it's this dream team. Maybe. We're really good at killing people. I can focus really hard and then lose my turn. Uh, I believe you have one action remaining, Travis. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to talk to one of the police officers. Good luck, Akatsi. If anyone can do it, it's you. Actually, nice. Though. Flip a clue over. Let's see. Okay. That's my turn. <clears throat> I can literally just kill a man in front of these guys, hey? If he's not innocent. Or deals damage to a humanoid enemy. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Well, what if they do damage to me? Will these guys bake him away? No. <laughs> no. He's working here. He's just security. You can have them, like, do damage to that guy. The police guy, then he'll shoot him, I think. I have to be on MySpace, though. MySpace. Okay. Good website. <laughs> Room two tables locked. How old are you? <laughs> uh, you cannot enter room two tub from the second floor hall. Test foot four to attempt to pick the lock. Otherwise known as, oh, you guys actually are pretty nimble, but not that nimble. Uh, if I can get my foot up to four, I don't actually have any real good ways to do that. Ditto. Well, I but can. But if get my foot can four. be made to four, then I can probably just pass. Cool. I like that. Assuming I don't use these cards for something different. All right, so I have a hotel guest at my location. I uh, could, in theory, give you like plus four foot. That's pretty neat. It's a lot. Yeah. And that was something we wanted to, like up to plus four. Scales between one and four. What are you thinking, Bryn, for your stuff? Uh, well, I'm gonna leave here so I can kill this conspicuous staff. <laughs> Go push him off the balcony. <laughs> Sure, why don't you go? Because I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. This is a really weird one where I built like a... Got a monster's kill. deck, yeah. and then there's no monsters to kill? Wow. <laughs> yeah, we'll move, uh, we'll move up here. Investigating the murder bird being my shotgun. <laughs> I get attacked by this guy, but it's cool because I've had worse. Nice. Um, I'll take no damage and gain two resources instead. Nice. And I'll gain three resources because I'll put this <clears> in my basement. Nice. And draw a card. What's the maximum you can have in there? Five? Five. Nice. Uh, I can use the Twilight Blade to play cards from out of my basement. Nice. I almost got as much brain as Akachi and only took four cards. <laughs> I got one on mine for free. <laughs> um, I'm going to stab him with the Bloodstained Dagger. He's, he's just going all in on this. No repercussions, the dagger is not cursed. There's a question mark, that it should be an exclamation mark. The dagger is not cursed. I'll commit the spirit attain to it. Because I don't actually need a third knife, I don't think. Maybe it's like a a man chooses sort of thing where you're like, well I have this knife, I might as well stab him yeah, with it, but don't. it's bad. Does Minus three. Minus three. You may so place one in. Plus two, plus one. Yeah, we're just good though. Cool. I, I, could, I, like, I could do a thing to treat it as a zero, but... As a one. Or a one, yeah, I one. I How do you make sure that the players three. kill people to increase tension in the game, which is just give them a weapon? Sure. <laughs> They'll do it. Uh, draw a card. <laughs> All right, I'm going um, to... Oh, sorry, your friend's still gone. Yeah, because it was like move, attack. attack. I'll write of seeking for my last one. Nice. The shroud uh, is two here. I've got like five against two this time, which is like a whole lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I get two clues. Beautiful. That's pretty neat. Now these police are stupid and they're gonna have to go back the other way. No. One clue. Cool. Is that no adjustments on this turn? Yeah. I'm gonna hippity hop to the restaurant, see what's cooking in there. Can't go there. Yeah, I can't even go there from here. Let's see what the rock is cooking. Uh, as an action spent to your resources, you place an order while enduring the withering glares of the entire waitstaff. At the end of your turn, if you're still at the restaurant, you may take one horror and heal three or take one horror to heal three damage. Uh, if as a lightning bolt, if each location is in play is revealed and there are no clues on locations in play, place player clues on the restaurant from the token bank. Uh, I'm not gonna activate my Field work is going to hippity hop back here, activate it, and then talk to this lady and try to get convince her to get out of here. Five to three. 
See ya! It's not related to the game, don't worry about it. Uh, cards and resources? I just don't want to forget about it later. Still not a weakness. Cool. Bond? From the first player, bring this. Mm -mm. Uh, there are humanoid enemies, hey? Yes. Brain to a test. I don't even well, care. Uh, why doesn't one of them come over here and hit me a bit? I'll just test it. You yep. rushed it. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll just take some damage. I also got one. Hello, sir. Um, I'll take the one that's... Is it unengaged? Now it's so nice having just, like, a sky high burn to score. The game's like, do something we're gonna hurt you, and you're like, not a problem. Then you just gotta figure out how to, like, win. <laughs> Did you guys not see I'm a cop? I literally have one of your cops with me. They engage you or no? Engages, yeah. So this guy's engaged with you, right? Mm. Here I go, killing again. <laughs> Not the police, please. <laughs> this guy also would have moved to the crime... Do they patrol the crime scene or just most clues? I don't know what it says on them. Nearest location with clues. So he'll come up here and also suck up that clue. Stop it. Huh. Well, already my stab in life, <laughs> I guess. Oh, no. I think I'm gonna spend my team get, or my turn just getting all the clues for the restaurant. You guys are down with that? Everybody, yeah. everybody cool with that? Go for it. Okay, I will move into the restaurant. And then so I will... Barling is like really hard for me because like yeah, maybe I killed someone. What am I right seeking? Just throwing that out there. <laughs> so it's like you're parlaying, but you know you're guilty. Yeah. You're like... Yeah. Well, I'll pick not <clears throat> this one. <laughs> Excellent choice. <laughs> Give me all the clues. They're like, did you kill that man? I'm like, uh, no. He was already perforated like that when I found him. So that's what this thing does? Yeah. I have to discard cards to parlay. Shuffle into your deck. <laughs> yeah, but then this guy gets the punch. Man. Yeah, it, he does. It's not in those cases where you have a weakness, you're like, this will be fine, then it's not fine. Nah, it's just like, whatever. I could just kill this man. <laughs> but that's like the, that's that's the crossroads I'm at too. Like I could easily kill this cop, but like I feel like then we start getting the worst ending, and it gets harder. And I always like to go right away for the hardest ending right off the bat. Well, yeah. As soon as you start killing people, it's just like, well, what's one more person? Exactly. Yeah. As soon as we kill one innocent person, it's like, and all of a sudden you're up to minus five, and you're like, hmm. Um, I guess I'll evade this Arkham officer, um, and we'll see what the future holds. <clears throat> That's pretty good. That's a minus zero. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna dig the rest of them out then, because I'm gonna take the minus zero. That's so a good. That that's a good choice. Away. And I will put this into my basement, which caps out the basement. Draw a card, gain a resource. Nice. Um, I guess like these guys aren't gonna stay here, and like I could push them off the balcony. But that guy's got doom on. Just <laughs> yeah. What do you, what that's, do you want? A, that's an easy Travis or Brim. Oh, you, like even easy Travis clue. What do you want me to do about that? <laughs> I'm just uh, saying. I'm gonna get rid of the two doom and one action. Play this whole holy rosary. <laughs> <laughs> What's one more kill? This guy's I'll not paying shuffle, attention. I'll shuffle this back into my deck. Nice. Did I bring extra sleeves with me? That's a good question. Uh, Is that your last action? 
Yes, I did. Yes, I didn't, but I also happened to sleep my deck in ivory, so good job, me. <laughs> sure. Um, Apparently, yeah. I find a head. Uh, so this is a strat of four, three clues. This guy's going to beam me once. Boop. Uh, as an action, test book one. If you succeed, move a humanoid enemy at any location once toward the basement. Nice. After defeating an enemy in the basement, move any number of clues controlled by the investigators of the basement to the Tome of Rituals if it is in play. But it is mm, not. Nope. Um, but I did move here. I'm going to advance, uh, exhaust field work, and then we're going to attempt to talk to this man. Only five to three. Can I see the two leads we got, Brent? No. They're lying. <laughs> I just want to read them. You still not eating candy, Justin? Still not eating candy. Yeah. In that case, I don't have any added beer. <laughs> I saw the uh, cheddar and pretzel goldfish combination at my Safeway, and that made me think of you. Where, which Safeway? Yeah, they brought, they, uh, they Ca it back, Capilano. Right? Yes. All right, I did it. I'm looking for all months those, to find those. All those angry letters finally work. <laughs> yeah. Um, Can we just, like, mix some of our back socks so this guy will stop sending us 50 emails a day? <laughs> Yeah, that one back. We should probably go to the office for that one. And for this one, I bet it is. Oh, maybe it's the hotel roof. Because it smells like ozone. I'm skeptical of that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's one of the two rooms. If I had to guess, I'd say room 212 because that has a green background. This has a green symbol. Efficient ozone. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> That's not a place for me. That's it for everybody? Yeah. Uh, enemy phase. This guy is gonna move down here. This guy's gonna stand up and eat one of these clues. Oh my god. And this guy's gonna stand up. Cards and resources. Bong, you're up, Bryn. So we have six in play, six of 12, but... Oh, no, evil card, sorry. I don't want to draw one of those. I mean, I don't either, but... Travis, your evil card? Why you gotta be like Am this, guys? Why you gotta do this? I would much rather... This guy's somewhere, and then he's gonna come punch you, probably. Where is he? Oh, near his crime scene. Nearest crime scene. It's right here, I can do this one. I would love for this guy to come and fight me. Because I can kill you and not feel guilt. He also hits you though. <clears throat> Makes an attack? Yeah. Alright, I'll just dodge it. Nice. I got a real easy choice, <clears throat> so I'll go first. I got an alchemical transmutation and I'm going to use a test. I have seven brain to the game, zero. Oh, it's maximum four. I mean, hey, still. Yeah. I'll take my four resources. Like I said, she's probably the one that it's best with because yeah. she gets the extra charge. And then I'm going to spend five resources. To play my Time Worn brand. My beaten stick. <laughs> That's my turn. I'm going to shoot these guys with a shotgun. I don't give a shit. I want to use my fancy toy. Yeah, do it. Just chunk that two health guy for five points. <laughs> um, I'll do my math after. Oh, I oh. failed. Nice. <laughs> that was not the time, Justin. <laughs> All right, I get it, game. I get it. <laughs> I love it. Well, in that case, let's just punch them with this vicious blow. Seven, Seven to three. three. He's dead. Can a clue? <clears throat> um, should we start seeing which one of these rooms we want to get into? Maybe I'll start exploring. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty confident we want to go to the office. We have the magic. I can't go in there. It's locked. It says the office. It's a, yeah. I can, okay. go, I can yeah. go there. I think so. we want to go and check out the... I mean, you can do the roof if you want. But. I'll, yeah, I'll try it out. We'll move. Draw a token. If it's bad, draw a counter card. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Oh, hello. You're big. You will die. Spawn near sentry location, hunter retaliate. If there is at least one guest enemy in play, hotel security loses hunter and gains patrol location with the nearest, with a guest enemy. The hotel roof is three shroud, three clues, victory one. As an action, you can test foot or fist four. If you succeed, you get to mm -hmm. move to one of the hotel rooms by climbing down the back, the side. Ooh. Any ignoring the font on front or? No, you just move to them mm -hmm. normally. As an action, you can test brain three. If you succeed, move a number of clues controlled by investigators at this location to alien device. That makes sense. Alien space. That's me. You gotta love the mess that these maps become. Yeah, sometimes. It only makes sense when you're playing, you know? Yeah. Uh, you gotta be like that conspicuous staff. I feel like my team is really bringing me down on this one. Just not being able to investigate, not being able to stop stabbing people. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah if, I, <laughs> if I stab him, this guy will attack me or will he engage me? Uh, each engages an investigator and makes uh, me. That doesn't get me anywhere so I need to be. Both. <laughs> uh, is it only is it only if I do damage to him? Uh, uh, deals damage, yeah. Okay. Take one direct forward and defeat the chosen enemy. So Brin's thinking, so if I push him off the balcony, the cop won't notice. Yeah, I, I can't make that happen, I don't think. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Why does he hit so fucking hard? It's one. <laughs> yeah, that's like a lot. Okay. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I don't do. I wish there were more things I could kill without. I just, this one is making my, it's really tense for me. Because I feel like it's a good scenario. I think this is really well designed. I think this is a really good one too. Yeah. Um, we're like, not even like, they're no, probably like halfway through maybe. Probably. I don't know. But we one. gotta get going on these uh, clues and stuff, I think. I'm, I'll kill this higher I'm security because I, I will need... use the Twilight Blade to play dodge on his attack. Uh, no, I won't play. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll play dodge. Yeah, what do you do with him? I'll onto the hotel room. How'd you move up, here? up those clues. From... Uh, So, like, I can move from here to here, right? Yeah. And then. Oh, uh, I can move in here, right? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> well, oh, okay. Let's try it. Let's win first. Well, if someone else went first and like sure. killed that hotel security, maybe. Yeah, well, no, I, I think mean, like we've gone. Yeah, it's him. Oh, this is I'm that round still? Yeah. Oh my I'm god. Who gets to play still? Yeah, this is your time worn yeah. brand turn. Oh my god. Um, Remember when I missed with my okay. shotgun? Well, uh, yeah, in that case, I'm just going to invade this guy through. I have three. a bald man with. I have Northern Lion to help me. Uh, there's a little more kick now, I was expecting. Um, <laughs> this is my first time. <laughs> we'll, we'll evade him three to three, and we'll play this dark augury. Nice or dark prophecy. One, two, three. Draw the red one. Four, five. Um. So this one's the minus three. You can treat it as a minus one, and the other one's just a minus three. Okay. Well, I'll take this one, and I'll counterspell it. Nice. Yes. And I'll put this in to the basement to remain at five. Nice. Gain a resource. Draw a card. Beautiful. Oh no. Terrible secrets. <laughs> Terrible. What an exciting time. Well, this one does horror to me if I play it, so. Yeah, and then we'll take three, I guess, to keep these. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> all right, all right. So we evaded the guy. Yep. We'll move in here. Yep. Get out of here. Hello, officer. <laughs> Hello, officer. Um, I was just here with my prayer beads so that maybe I don't die. How much base brain do you have? Um, 
like as uh, my score. And you're like, uh, like brain damage. Oh, I can take seven. That's pretty rough. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. No, I got two, I got two more on this. We're fine. We're fine. All right, enemy phase. Go. Turn. This guy will go and attack Travis. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. I'll beat him to death. Yeah, you got your fancy killing stick. Oh, yeah. This guy readies. This guy moves here. This guy moves here. Got my paddle stick. Yeah, this guy sucks up one of these clues. Yeah, so we have to get on that, hey? four, seven, eight in total. <clears throat> Cards and resources as well. Don't forget about that, everybody. <clears throat> well, that's cool. Bad cards. Bad cards. Um, how worried are you about this it's guy being hard to kill? Oh, I'm gonna shotgun him to hell and back. Okay, because like he could be harder to kill. How? What does harder mean? <laughs> well, just like harder in every way. <laughs> <laughs> just like in general, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you want me to say, Justin. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, Nearest hall location. I mean, like I guess I'll. <sighs> I can't just not game partly. I need to make a poop in the goal. I'll play this ward of protection and do a damage to this. Sure. Cancel this. Yeah, that card looks a lot worse when you got like here. two brain and resource. The one I paid. Get this. Okay. Four, five, eight to four. Okay. Yeah, I'll shoot this guy. See ya. Justin, that makes my stuff more, makes my stuff worse. Makes my way seeking less efficient. I mean, I don't have to if you want me to leave it there, but I figured you have uh, some cops to go talk to. Yeah, I do. Uh, um, <laughs> four on this. I'm gonna play this uh, extra ammunition. <laughs> Smart man. Uh, and then we're gonna try to climb down into this room. Two, four, five. <laughs> 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 Good luck. Seven to four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. That'd be wild if it's like if you fail, you die. <laughs> yeah, you're eliminated. <laughs> uh, so, Shroud of Two, Three Clues, Victory One, which we don't care about. But I was like, oh, Victory, guys! But yeah. no, we don't care. <laughs> Test book three. Only the top card of your discard pile may be committed to the skill test. Place on the bottom of your tech after this resolves. If you succeed, move any number of clues controlled by the investigators in room 245 to Time Worn Locket. I was time right. Time Worn Brand. That's like the same thing. Yeah. You were right. <laughs> the symbol is green. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for me. I could be a game designer. Uh, I gotta walk in and talk to some people. Uh, do you want to talk to this guy? Or, like, I can talk to the policeman here. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll, I, I was just going to do, like, the hotel guest, like, half of the policeman, but I can just go down to the basement okay. and talk like, to I could, guy. I could move here, do the last point on the policeman, and move to the office then. Yeah, sure. Hello, Mr. Hotel Guest. Not really a fan of what you're doing. You could just leave. That would be great. Thanks. Yeah, and, uh, Mr. Policeman. I guess we'll use all for this one. What's cultist? Uh, minus one. And minus they four. have three. Yeah, you're good. Okay, I have seven. Flip a clue. I'm probably going to join you and just dump all my clues onto that, brain. <laughs> uh, I'll move in here. What's it for you, Travis? Since yeah. we're no yep. longer hindered by a horrible bellboy. Oh, yeah, I'll paddle him if he comes uh, down here. Don't worry. And we'll talk to the policeman. I've got six. I am his prey, after all. <laughs> Minus three. He has three. I've got four, five, six. Nice. Flip the clue. We don't do that here. I'll just give the doom side, please. Oh, I already have a doom. <laughs> <laughs> I just want the doom. Okay, I just want the doom. <laughs> you doing okay over there? Uh, I'll move into the office. Is it connected? 
It has to be, right? It is not. Oh. No, you have to go down to the foyer first. Why would I need to go down there? Because it's on a different floor than the second floor hall. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> At least while you're here, this policeman can take brain damage for you. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, he's just hanging out here. He's just <laughs> having a good time. Go up there, cops. It's not my problem. No, it's not. Uh, is that everybody? This guy sucks up one more clue. He's there to organize the raid. Hoo hoo, I got my kleptomania. You want to steal money from me? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't love that, actually. Cards resources. I'm not particularly concerned about that aspect of my character. I would love some more money, actually. Uh, Bong. Evil card to you, Bryn. Judge Blood you. on my... I mean, like, I did stab a couple of people. That one's easy. You just pass it. Yeah, I guess I only have to test brain too, hey? Are you That's kidding like me? Hard. <laughs> <laughs> he said barely passing. <laughs> and you guys are having a tough time with this one. This, uh... Oh, no, this is more so the fact that now she's, uh... She engages you. Oh, okay. Uh, she has plus one health, plus one fight, and plus one evade. Attached enemy loses aloof. Investigators cannot parlay with the attached enemy. Uh, after attached enemy is evaded, it's we discard driven to madness. I guess I'll evade her. And Travis is hitting her with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, let me go first before we move to the office then. Sure. I'll evade her and commit torrent to Bower. I'll suck up three of these to have yeah, that's four so wilds. Sick. Yep. So I'm at seven to two or seven to three for this reason. This is actually super important, so we'll use all of them on this one too. <laughs> <laughs> two. Well <laughs> I'll pick the other one. Yeah, minus four. Easy. Right? Seven, yeah. There, she's just normal again. You were just like, no. <laughs> So what's she going to do? She's going to go mess around a crime scene or something? Yeah, she's going to get Doom on her starting this turn because the second hole... Yeah, but I can talk to her later. I'll yeah. head down to uh, Bryn's location and I will give me two of your money. Done. <laughs> I mean, like, sorry, I'll leave it on the table so that you can feed your kleptomania. <laughs> oh no, where did it go? Just, okay, hey, Miss Police Officer, can you hold these $2 like in your, and then just like pretend not to notice my friend steals them for you? Some magical cover up. Okay, so we've got eight, nine. Jeez. We're gonna have like 10. Actually, for clues or? For, oh, for doom. doom. Yeah, we're getting pretty close. Yeah. Maybe you should go talk to the police officer. Maybe I should. I'm gonna try to like. I wish there was a clue on that location to pick my way into. Uh, I think we need you on this side of the map, Justin. I, think so. I guess we need to work our way over there eventually, anyway. Yeah, I want to try to get into 212 because maybe there's something I can do in there. Um, yeah, I guess like I can just go talk to this officer. Hello, officer. Minus one. Good. Let's do it again for our other action. Oh, this guy should be here. Minus two. Whoops. Why oh, I keep taking that? I'm not used to having clues. It's weird. Okay. Good. Buddy. You got a shotgun with your name on it, don't you? My little conspicuous staff member. Isn't he, like, here? Oh, yeah, he should be here. Thank you. And then he moves to the next turn. That's e even easier. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, Ryan, you have almost enough clues to do that one on your own. Maybe I'll go to room 212 and try and dumpster all yeah, my yeah. clues on there. If I get uh like Mr. Police your foot man. Three? Yeah. And what's the test? Four? What? To pick the block. Oh. Yeah, I guess I spent my card is good for that. Eh? That's okay. I'm trying okay. to see if what, what I, I got another copy here. I'll definitely draw before I draw my, my big pile of weaknesses. I could go to five to four, that's not great. I could like help you a little bit. I don't want to spend these cards on that, but
This isn't bad because this guy's going to move here, take this clue. Bryn can follow him, grab the clue, move into here. Mm -hmm. Travis, you and I can meet up here, try to pick the lock. Yeah. And then you can move up there to see. Might be able to scum the lock with, like, if you have a plus foot and then, like, olive. Yeah, yeah. I have, I have some plus lucky. foots. I can yeah, if I too. get lucky on that. Yeah. All right, I'm going to move in here. This guy's face on Jim Madness is great. She like steel bars instead of you. Thinking. I'm just gonna go get something to eat. Then <laughs> uh, two resources. At the end of your turn, if you're still in the restaurant, you may take one horror to heal three damage. Because you have to wait for your order. Yep. <laughs> Brutal. Where's the horror dice? There they are. They're Sorry, buddy. Eat this and tell me if it's poison. All right. So this guy is going to move in here, suck up this clue. Not at all, actually. But this guy's going to suck up this clue. Um, she's going to gain a clue. We're gonna go up to eleven. Mm. <laughs> that police officer in that two twenty five also moves uh, somewhere. Yeah. She's not at a crime scene though, is she? This is yeah, this it makes is. it a crime oh, okay. scene. Yeah. This guy oh no. Alright, Mr. Cobb, you're gonna have to see me murder somebody. Cards and resources. No, oh, this is gone. Oh no we can't. Doesn't even matter there anymore. You have a card to you, Bryn? Five, six, seven, eight. Blood on my hands. Uh, there is hotel security in the office. This conspicuous staff. He's driven to madness. What cool. Oh. Maybe? Yep. Yeah. I mean, like, I guess he is. Sure, why not? I'm not overly concerned about that. That's not my um, problem. Three to two. Whoa. Nice. Okay, I'm probably going to move in there, shoot the Arkham... Uh, not the Arkham officer, the <laughs> staff. <laughs> Have the Arkham officer, officer uh, attack me. Uh-huh. Uh, and then I haven't thought beyond that. <laughs> okay. But I mean, I feel like we need to. There, you. We need this area so you can get into room two one two, right? Yeah. Like I'm yeah. gonna need. Well, I might not need help with that, but. No, you can find. Like my turn was like suck a doom off this guy, move into the hallway, suck a doom off the hotel guest, and then keep moving. Okay. So yeah, you probably want that to not be that conspicuous staff to not be with you. Uh, it's like not awful. I only have taken one brain damage in this game. I mean, if you want to tank him for a turn, what could I do that's worthwhile? You could, like, try the foot test, but... I could. Maybe we should do that, then. I'll hold him, and you can try the foot test. Sure. Uh, so I will parlay with this man. Hello, friend. Yeah, he is. Like, Minus one. Yeah, give me another clue. Oh my god. Uh, then I will move up in here. Move in here, boil engage me. I'll parlay with this other lady. Nice. <clears throat> He's only hits for one, one though. Yeah. Like a little baby. So you take from the parlay. Oh, no, parlay, parlay don't, don't provoke a tax of opportunity. That yeah. rarely comes up. It does, but it's really important right now. <laughs> Not really, but it's important right now. Um, let's move in here. Let's attempt to uh, pick that. I have two, three, four, five. <laughs> He's doing it. Can you help at all? 
I can give you warrior protection. <laughs> um, if I'm on that location, I can I can help you like as well if it's one of the bad tokens. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you just have to worry about like the actual numbers. So I think the lowest is a neg four. Okay. So two, three, four, five. We <laughs> can get to six still. That's pretty rough. Uh, maybe Bryn, what would you do, Bryn? Let's just back up. Pretend uh, you haven't saw, seen those cards. So if I'm here, yeah. and I'm trying to pick a lock, yeah. mm -hmm. maybe I'm doing some sort of prophecy to see how it goes. Okay. Um, and I need to get to four foot somehow. Because I don't have cards to do that. You, you need to just get to four foot. Probably. So, okay. You don't need four foot like I do. You just need to get to four foot. Yeah. Okay, I can get you to four foot. Okay. I only have one Aubrey left, but... Uh, so we, like, move, move, and then pick. Sure, but I need to be there first. Yeah. And then the problem is, then, what else am I doing with my turn? I could not shoot that you guy because there's uh, a cop here. If you parlay him, you can evade him. You either mm -hmm. take one of the things or yeah. automatically evade. Yeah, because he's going to move in here and start eating these clues, and that's pretty bad for us. Mm -hmm. Sure. Hello, sir. I would love to talk with you. What are you doing, Sniff Rack? This is a federal investigation. I got a police badge. Let's give me the five. Yeah, we'll try five to three. Because if anyone can do it, it's Justin. Told you. Easy. Then for my last trick... You can shoot this man now, right? Because he's evaded. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, what's that? <laughs> it's a federal investigation. Don't worry about what you're going to see. You're right, I, to see. I really don't want to miss Travis, so I, I just won't. Okay. Five, eight to three. Okay. It can't kill you. It can only almost kill you. <laughs> he's dead. This guy, not me, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's me. Okay. Move, move. Attempt to pick a lock. Exhaust That's the some field work. blade. To play this dark prophecy. So you're four all? So we're at four all. Red shit. Red shit doesn't even matter now. Uh, I must take this one. I'll counterspell it. Wow. You magic users are so much more civilized than me. I just have big fire stick that shoot fire out front. Let me back up the four. Uh, you immediately move into this location. Gain a resource. Draw this card. Um, man, that last that last turn yours was so flavorful, Justin. You like told him that you showed me your police badge. You were like, this feral investigation. Don't pay attention to me shooting this man. Yeah. He was like, yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, test book three, if you succeed, move any number of clues controlled by investigators at this location to Sinister Solution if it is in play. Wow. We did it. You immediately moved there, friend. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> is it a must or a may? <laughs> no, it's cool. Okay, well, you guys do that like, one. I'll I need, do the opposite. I probably need to be there, right? Oh, I have yeah. Sinister, so I have flagged both, right? No, um, you don't need to be there. It doesn't... If it's, if it's, in, oh, okay. if it's in play. Okay, that's cool. Uh, is that turn? Yeah. All right, well, these guys conveniently all move here. Hello, friends. Otherwise known as, let's just get this doom off of them and go do our thing. What is it? Test, book three. Man, I'm good at that. Discard a shriveling. Cards and resources. I'm glad, like, none of these things I've played this game, except for those rain seeking kind of have been really useful. It's just the fact that I have, like, seven brain. <laughs> <laughs> Scree! Oh! oh, this guy's here. Uh, you know what? Hang on. Maybe we just don't want to draw this guy. That would be cool, right? <laughs> I like the noise he made. Scree! That's, what yeah. that's the sound he makes. Um, yeah, like we're going to play Dark Insight on this. So he'll be okay. shuffled back into the dark. Oh, sick. I don't have to draw that hotel guest. Uh, I will put this into my basement. 
Uh, gain a resource draw card. Oh. Uh, no, I'm going to. <laughs> Warrior protection is not just Don't worry, I got one. <laughs> player order. Each player must at uh, your location must choose test foot three to attempt to flee the gas before it fills the room. If you succeed, move to a connecting location. If you fail, to take two damage. Or test fist three to attempt to hold your breath. For each point you fail by, take one damage. They're both regular damage? Yes. Jesus Christ. All right, Brent, what are you going to do? Hmm? I'm going to split the odds. I'm going to do the foot test. Because we're all this location. So I'm over here now. Oh, you are. Yeah. You got out of here. Lucky, lucky <laughs> boy. Give me the foot test so I can scum this. Go somewhere else. What's the skull? Uh, minus one. So minus two. Take two damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll do the the muscle one. Five to three. Nice. I just hold my breath. <laughs> Easy. Okay, I'm gonna move down here and start clearing a path for my boy Bryn because uh, I'm gonna shoot this guy with a shotgun. I don't see how there's going to be an enemy that's stronger than this. Like, I could be wrong. Like, this seems to be the one that... Yeah. So we're going to shoot him. Do it. And don't miss. I don't actually know, so... Oh, I missed. Wild. We'll go again. Minus one. So eight. He'll die. Really good with the shotgun, guys. <laughs> yeah, you're really, you're really giving it to him. <laughs> uh, that's it for me. Am I, am I just talking to these guys this turn? Or? Probably, yeah. Um, I guess I'll test his brain through I guess the book three thing. If you get one more clue brain, you could potentially put two on there and then, like, one, two. No, I won't be able to. I mean, if, for that. if you, like, if we ignore this one this turn, Travis does this, he comes down here, we can all just hold out in 2 one, 2 and do it together, right? Like, I can act as protection. Yeah. Okay. Like, just focus on this one this turn. Like, he needs one more clue. There's probably one in here. You have six in here, so if you, well, you have more than that, right? Yeah. So we probably want to, like, use all of, all on one and one on the other, like you originally said. Yeah. And maybe the office, I need to, you need to push a box as opposed to book, like, on every other one, pretty much. <laughs> um, I yes, guess like I'll play, I'll play the sixth sense. Nice. I mean, you could also just grab them all off here. Oh, grab it one off here. But the problem is that's where these guys are going. So I feel like if we hold in here, it'll be better long term, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Because we still haven't killed a cop. We haven't killed an innocent person. Yeah, we're doing great. Oh, give me a sec. <laughs> give me a hot minute here. Um. I feel like this part would be a lot easier if we had, if we just been killing these people. We just killed these police officers. It'd be so much. I mean, easier. I don't. I don't actually need to play that. Hey, I can just walk back out here. And this one, you can teleport in there if you feel the risk. Nah. Nice. I was just gonna talk to some of these cops. Yeah, do it together. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Because Travis, you haven't gone yet, right? No. So if he does a good chunk, you can move in here and just do it this turn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we'll talk Book to test? an officer yeah. with the most. <laughs> I can't pass that. I have two book. Well, then we're done. <laughs> Let's go for, press that resign button. <laughs> uh, I might be able to do it. I mean, like, I could just sit there and then... As long as I'm minus three. Pass. Yeah. Yeah, okay, whatever. It doesn't do anything else, right? In the if you fail and there's an instant enemy in the victory display. Neither of those things are true. I don't need this one yet. That puts me to six. Um, and then, like, I guess I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to invade one of these guys. <laughs> and then I'm going to stab the one that's standing. <laughs> Uh, there's two there, isn't there? Yeah, there's two more here. Yeah, I will try and get the Doom off the standing guy first. I think, yeah. 
I guess I don't have to pick that till after, but yeah. I'll, no, I'll evade him first. And I'll test the other yeah, guy. As long as they're not moving this turn, we're in pretty okay shape. I'll evade the second guy and then I'll I'll test it again. Oh, you do off one. Flip a clue over. Yeah, thanks. thanks. So, how's the investigation going? Cards and resources? These guys all stand up. Ho oh, ho, is my overzealous. Mm. I didn't have to pay for that stupid thing. The sixth sense that I definitely don't have in my hand. Morbid awareness. Revelation. Test brain six. Reduce the difficulty of this test by one. Past. For each location away from room 212 you are. So it's the brain five test. What happens if you fail? I place on my clues my location or I take two for it. Oh. So it's like oh, nothing. No. Tough choice. Oh, I guess I should have drawn one of those. Hey? Oh, no, that's from my overzealous. Over 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 hey? Yeah. Hey, we're just going to watch him for a bit. Uh, oh, hang this? on, hang on. What? When you draw your overzealous, I can just play my dark insight. What is that? Play one of my investiga an investigator at my location draws an encounter card or a weakness. Cancel all of that card's effects and shuffle it back into its deck. Okay. Nice. <laughs> it's better than having it now, I guess. Yep. Right? Sweet. Yeah. Then we just don't have to do any of it. Uh, we'll still draw that one card that he just drew. Yeah, so that's I put it back on top. Friend. This one's for you, Travi. And me. Oh! Yeah, I'm not actually worried about uh, it. This can be a crime scene now. <laughs> uh, test brain six. six. Reduce the to his test. Hey, it's the one I just had. Wow. Wild. Yeah, I'm not too worried. So I am one, two away from there, so it's a four. Three to four. Watch this. Plus one, motherfuckers! No, minus one. Um, I'll just take two horror. I'm not scared of anything. Except like this. That's, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's very scary. All right, Brent, so you say you can probably do... I say I can maybe do it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move in there. I'm going to try and get all the clues with my ray of seeking so that they can't have them. <laughs> they will go into this one, too. That's okay, but then that's that's just what they have. They can't take any more. There's that's no right. more to take. That's right. We okay. will go up to 11 and lose. <laughs> Okay, maybe I evade two of these guys, then move in. <laughs> I also do five to three with my field work on these. So, like, if you okay. guys are there, I also am pretty good at that. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to bring one of these guys. Keep my lock. Evade one. And... So I guess we just try and do it next turn. I can get the, yeah. I mean, you could do two, move in. Yeah, that's what I'm do one, and then I can come in and tr attempt it this turn. There have to be no clues there. Fuck them. No, no it can be. It's oh, fine. Okay. So we're actually just taking them so the police can't find them. Yes. Can't yeah. they just move to the next one over instead? Yeah, but not this turn. Yeah, not this turn. And I'm moving them to yeah, one yeah. too. Cool. Just so you can skip to do in here. Yeah, um, I don't think I'm going to take the risk because I can just do the test. Yeah. I'm going to go seven to three. I can't help. <laughs> I'm not there. Yeah, I'll put three of mine and three of Travis's okay. on the thing. Uh, yeah, I guess Brain can talk to this guy and work his way down to the next one then. And then I'm probably good to just do that again because I can probably mm -hmm. do these most reliably. Bryn is also pretty good, but that field work because there's going to be clues on it, and you can just like do a dance with these. You're going to have to um, risk the card draw if you want to attempt to evade though. this guy. But I also need to be in the. Oh no, Bryn can be in the office. We got five, six. Oh, well, that's a that's a nope. It's a toughie. Mass four is a big number. It is a big number. All right. Not all uh, of us can do uh, Akashi's big brain plays. I mean, like, I guess we'll do it again. Uh, the other thing I can do is just, like, move in here, I guess. I think that might be fine. This guy moves in here, yeah. and Travis just talks with him next turn. Yeah. I'm talking okay. to him. Move, move. Uh, test book zero. Oh my, I should have just tried this. 
For each, each point, point you succeed yeah. by, you may move one clue controlled by an investigator in the office to the manager's key if it's in play. Well, that's much more difficult. We also could move this cop down here this turn. Yeah, we can. Good. Can we? Yeah, because yeah. they're both... Uh, oh, no, it's two away. Yeah. Two away. Oh, Can't wrong. Lame. But these guys will come down here, because then it will be the most clues. Mm -hmm. How many clues do we need to have on these? Six, Six to get each. the good ending. Okay. Ending. We still have an earlobe we haven't read yet. That's true. Ha. Yeah, I suppose the for what we have for potentially phase one of this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Let's turn. Her money card. Oh my god, it's not a weakness. <laughs> <laughs> we are it's at the thirteenth vision. Six. That's pretty awkward. That zero book test you're going to be making. <laughs> right? Like, I have to succeed by numbers anyway. <laughs> uh, evil card for you, Bryn. <clears throat> test the brain six. Reduce the difficulty of this test by one for each location you are away from. Mr. Trombley, Madden Concierge. Four punch, five health, four foot. Spawn the foyer. Hunter, after Mr. Trombley airs play. Immediately resolve the hunter and patrol keywords on each other's staff enemy in play. There's no staff enemies in play. Okay. Oh, hello, big boy. He's a big boy. Um, oh, no. I can almost one shot with my time war brand. Sick. Yeah. I get to test like 10. Okay. But only one time. Well, my turn is easy. I'm going to talk to Mr. Officer. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yep. Hello, fancy meeting you here again. Indeed. Take the doom off him. You know, I guess I'll just talk to him again. No, I, I, sorry, yeah. I'll, I'll move in here and try and talk to these guys. Sure. I'll do the hotel guess, I guess, one here. Sure. Get her out of the way. Yeah, she's dead. And then that's that's it. Okay. Um, so I think we're really banking on Bryn. Because if these guys move, they're going to move into one of these and we in trouble. You can come in here and try and book I them. I, I think uh, Bryn should go first. See how maybe he does. You just come in here and engage them and just let them punch you for a bit. That's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, we still have, <clears throat> like, a third of this scenario to play. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if what we have playing here, that's what I'm playing with, right? Like... No, I still have a nice big pile of agendas here. Oh, my God. There's ten of them. Okay. Uh, book, test, fucking... Five to zero. Whoa. That's amazing. I wish I had more. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you oh, crush yeah. it. You just need to succeed by one now, and then we can... Advance? Yeah, and then we can continue and be playing. done with the <laughs> Win this scenario. <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, like, I guess I'll just run out three to three. Yeah, nice try, me. Um, <coughs> we'll do it again. All right, you testing book zero. Yeah. Okay. That was a red shot, though. <laughs> no, I thought you said three to three. Or three to three to zero, whatever. Nice. By one, and then. Should we advance? That's exactly what I needed. Oh, the truth. Read scenario interlude, the truth, on page 10 of the rules booklet. The truth, one. Your investigation is halted by Sergeant Monroe, the very same police sergeant who had spurned your earlier warnings about the Excelsior Hotel. He is clearly exasperated by all the strange happenings in the building and demands answers. Now listen here, he says, his hand twitching towards his holstered gun. I'm a reasonable man, but you're looking mighty suspicious. You better tell me everything that's going on right now, you understand? Two blood knives. <laughs> Two no. blood knives. No, no. We haven't killed any innocent people. <laughs> <laughs> 
before you're gonna take a one-way trip straight to the big house. The investigators must decide if we have to tell them the truth or lie about our involvement. Who are we tell them the truth? This is Bryn's decision. <laughs> Did you kill those people? Well, I mean, like, that's a good question. Did I? I don't know. <laughs> um, but we're gonna tell them the truth. You explain everything to Sergeant Monroe from the beginning. The rumors, the note, the murder. The more that you explain, the more you realize how crazy it all sounds. But you know it's the truth. You know you're innocent. But do you have the evidence to back it up? Yes. Sergeant Monroe will only believe you've collected enough evidence and did not try to cover up your involvement. Ooh, disaster. So we had to have not cleaned up the blood, hid the body, or tie up the room. We needed to have, at least, we were so close, two clues on each lead, the asset in play, and have no innocent enemies in the victory spot. Instead, we're off to truth of, the truth for. No, no, I don't believe you. The man says, unholstering his weapon. None of this checks out. You're coming with me, pal. You can sing the story down at the station. You raise your hands, and he starts ushering you out of the hotel when there's a tremendous crash from another part of the hotel. Oh, the room, there's another, a tremendous crash from another part of the hotel. The entire building shakes to its foundations and you hear a guest screaming. What the hell? He looks at the door and you, stay put, he warns, or I swear, next time I see you, you're getting cuffed. He runs off to investigate the noise, you mumbling about how he's, cuffs? <laughs> he's doing well for his job. Me. Remember that the police don't believe you. Yeah, Fuck. they never do. <laughs> oh, why do we work so hard? <laughs> Oh. Remove Sergeant Monroe from the game. Get all the Arkham officers out of here. Oh, Shuffling and carry discard pile and carry decks. Skip to the true seven. Thanks to your kind investigation, you now have a better idea of what's going on. You're not the real culprit here. There's much more happening behind the scenes at Excelsior Hotel, and you're just caught in the middle. Ah. Uh... <laughs> A sinister solution manages key are in play. The victim was performing horrible experiments with an Excelsior. He'd already transformed much of the staff, and you were to be the next in a long line of subjects. Only the experiment was a failure. Now it's up to you to put a stop to these horrible transformations by destroying the source of this concoction. Remove all doom from play. Advance the act agenda deck to the set aside the true culprit version 8. This is both the current act and agenda. True culprit version 8. <laughs> yeah, VIII. Oh. <clears throat> Shuffle each staff enemy in the victory display into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. So it's a new game? Yeah. <laughs> discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until one staff enemy is discarded two if there are three or four players in the game. Spawn each of those enemies in the foyer. Attach the no. set aside harvested brain to room 212. That's where I am. Harvested brain, ancient science. Force at the end of the investigation phase, each investigator at attached location takes one damage and one horror. Each other investigator must take one damage or one horror, their choice. Hmm. That's pretty cool. This is like some. You are now shit. ready to continue playing. Uh, each at the end of the investigator phase, each <laughs> investigator at attached location takes one damage or one horror. Each other investigator must either take one damage. Oh, good. <laughs> just wait. Uh, yeah, I was like, am I reading this right? It's just always. Yeah. Oh, good. No, that's okay. This is uh, this is your part of the game now, Justin. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna blow up some monsters? Each lead asset gains action. Remove one clue from this asset. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a staff enemy and draw it. Shuffle the encounter deck. Reaction. After a staff enemy is defeated, deal one horror to harvested brain. Objective, if there is two plus one per investigator horror on Harvested Brain, <laughs> advance. So we need to kill five staff enemies. Oh, okay. So. Oh, okay, two yeah, plus yeah, one. yeah, Two plus one. <laughs> I was like, two plus one? Like, fucking, like, nine? <laughs> no, no, it's not, it's not three. It's two plus one per, one times okay. investigator. So there's, uh, all these good fuckers spawn here, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How many of them have hundreds? Let's do it. <clears throat> well, I haven't gone yet. I have a knife. Uh, have you finished all your actions, oh, yeah. Brian? Yeah, I tested I tested one, got it really good, then auto-failed, then didn't. I'm pretty sure I did my turn, because I just talked to the guys this turn. Do you have more gun juice? Oh, I do, yes. Uh, we're going to exhaust that, oh, this my, yes. and, yeah. and load up our shotgun. <laughs> it's a supply, who knew? I also got my paddle. Yeah. <clears throat> so we need to go five of these fuckers? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move, and I think I'm gonna do the kickflip. That's a lot of people, but can I kill some of these guys? 
Holy shit, if this goes wrong, I'm fucked. But I think it's better than them, like, splitting to you guys. I can fight. I know you can fight, but I mean... <laughs> I can not take damage for, like, a little bit. I can also soak <laughs> damage for a while. I'm pretty chunky. So maybe I just spend a turn, like, preparing still? I got effectively, like, ten brain left. Nine brain before I die. And, like... You know... Four hearts, I guess. I've got effectively three brain left before I die. Okay, I'm gonna move in here. Two brain before I die. He'd probably be a lot more sane if he didn't go around killing people. Draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we just established that wasn't me. All right, enemy phase. Travis, what kind of damage output do you have? Uh, two damage every time I hit with my paddle. And you attack with what? Uh, five right. fight. Sure, you you say what you want to see from that, and then I can take the rest. What do you think is good for you emotionally? I feel like if you guys need, I can hurt damage. damage from enemies for like a little bit. Yeah. It's a lot of hard damage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can take like two of them. Like you take like. Okay. How's your your brains a scary one for you, Justin? Pardon? Your brains a scary one for you? Yeah. Okay, you can have that guy then. Sure. But we're gonna be a little baby. A little baby guy. Okay. You can handle that, right? Yeah. And I'll hold on to him. I'll take I can take a hit from him. Sure. Um I've had worse, so I'll cancel his damage. Gain two resources. Ooh, that's a good draw. resources. I'm just gonna get draw chunked. <laughs> yeah, I got chunked. <laughs> Go All right. Five. Uh oh. no, we don't do Doom anymore, right? No. Uh, evil oh, card phase. <laughs> no, we we do. Yeah, we do. We do like, oh, we do this thing yeah. at the end of the investigation phase. So we just take damage. No, there's a damage threshold on this. It's right there. Oh, there it is. Oh, does it flip over? Yeah. I guess I'm not back. used to there being just one. one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we also have to take a damage or horror from. <sighs> Give me the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, good thing. Easy choice. Good thing in retrospect I went and had a little lunch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brand your evil card? His turn's pretty harsh. Oh my. Mr. Trump has been driven to madness. Uh, this guy chunks me. Very understandable. Uh, I'm gonna exhaust this to play. <laughs> you feel okay, Justin? Yeah, I'm fine. Ward of protection and cancel. I'm not this. scared of death. A little bit of brain damage, damage, damage. Just like a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. So, you want me to try and deal with this guy on my own? Uh, let me go first. Okay. <clears throat> because I actually have some bunch of stuff to <laughs> work just with. Just explode him. Just don't miss. I only have... I can only take two more hearts. <laughs> gonna shoot hotel security. Cool, cool, cool. We are eight to four. Succeed by at least two. Okay. And we can just search the deck, huh? Yeah. Yeah, like 12 times if we need to. Yeah. Just blow away. Yeah, <laughs> we need to. <laughs> Let's go to 10. 10 to 4. Away. He's toast. He's toast. Is he not a staff? He's a staff, yes. So. Come on the thing. No, it's Do just you want like, horror to him? Oh, yeah, horror, just, okay. just Oh, yeah, because there might not be enough. Yeah. I, under, I understand. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to use Beat Cop and deal one damage to him. Cool, that's actually very helpful. And then I'm going to play another beat cop. Ironically, very cool. Pardon? I said unironically, very cool. Um, what's the threshold you want to be at for damage for him? Oh, I can kill him. Yeah? Yeah, my uh, Time Warner Brand hits for four one time. Okay, then I'm going to... <laughs> but, like, then you have to draw a card. 
not Jake. No, nope, this guy's not elite. Oh no. <laughs> Why does he have a name? Um, He's for got my Victor, last eh? trick, He's I'm gonna move in here, and I'm gonna also then push him off the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of it without dying. I feel like uh, Brins. I'm gonna shortcut him with Brins because I feel like he'll need more Let's help in the have. long run. Okay, I'm gonna time warp Brand this nerd uh, using all of the bride. So I'm gonna be testing ten to his Four? five. Oh, it was five because he's big. Yeah, he's big boy. Oh, he's got one now. Did you want one more ping on him before? Yeah, I, I, I would. Yeah. Ping for one more. I forgot that gives him health too. How much is this one? Minus zero. I choose those two. Good choice. <laughs> He's told? Yeah. Brand takes some damage. And I got two actions left. Oh, wild. Mm, that's kind of rough. Mm, maybe it's not, though. I'm going to come hang out with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stab this guy with my knife and not the knife I've been stabbing everyone up with up until now. Seems fair. You're not special. Well, I don't need to pin this one on someone else. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, this gives me like way of, well, not way more. Why does this have seven more. different people's DNA? Why I guess you just uh, stab so a lot zero, of people off <laughs> Zero gives me five, six. That's not a tie. He'll take one. I'll do it again. Uh, only this time I'll commit this not so fast, just drawn to the <laughs> flame to it, because I don't think we're going to be getting the clues again. Yeah, but we're going to them. Goodbye. Uh, for we my last it. action, we're going to live close to the edge. And I'm about to... <laughs> <laughs> Spin our okay. Okay. Well, we probably want to get rid of this with Brynn it with... <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's, that's fine. We're all going to hang up here. Right? This Let's is go a spell. We, go around. Everything's good. It's all good. Yes. <laughs> You're nice and healthy. Well, Money and card? Uh, we also take a damage. You can't give me the brain damage. I'll mm -hmm. take the one that doesn't kill me. <laughs> Thanks, Big Cop. Nice. Thank you, Deck. Very nice. Sick. Bong. So if everybody just finds a guy and kills him, we're done. Yeah, we also can just spawn one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I fight the least efficiently, I think. Bryn, how often do you hit? Can you hit for more than two damage? Uh, my attacks will all deal one damage, pretty much. I mean, like, I guess I could, I could use this Bloodstained Dagger once. Okay. Very bad card, deal some extra damage. I'm going to be on the hunt. Too. Okay. This is minus zero. Well, little baby. Easy. Easy. This needs to be shuffled into. How do you feel about me bonking that guy? Because I hit for exactly two damage. Yeah, go for it. If you're cool with that. You might want to give me some plus punch, though. Because I test five to two. Or five to three. Um, the punch I'd rather use on the Ha Hotel security. Okay, that's fine. Right. Brynn, you gonna help me? That's just shriveling that I, uh, that I don't need. Cool. Minus three. You may place one of your clues on this location to make it a minus one. Three. Well, I have I have six. I don't need to. Nice. He's dead. Yeah. That takes brain damage. We're doing it, boys. <clears throat> All right. Let me move in there. Oh, you still have two actions left. Yeah. I'll spawn this guy again. <laughs> we need to kill two more. One more. One more. Yep. Oh, this guy shouldn't have been here, eh? Why not? He spawns at a crime scene location. Oh. No, he. Oh, yeah. But yes, it yeah. Just, it just makes you draw it, right? No, but spawn and engage with you oh, okay. instead of its normal spawn location. Sick. That's cool. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna spin this arcane initiative. Spin. Yeah, there aren't any left. I guess so. I'll. That guy's got four punch, eh? Yeah. Is he retaliate? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, then I will spend four money to play this tower card. And then 
Uh, then I walk in and hold them for you. That's very brave of you. Yeah. So if I miss, you will die. Yeah. yeah okay. Cool. Absolutely. Unless you like aren't hitting very hard, but let's move over here. No, I'm gonna do a shotgun with a vicious blow. I got a torrent of power for you for plus three. All right. So normally when or this happens, four. everything goes wrong. I'm gonna do my math after. He's dead. <laughs> How much? He takes five, set eight damage. It's uh, yeah, like punk. a lot of damage. Did you count my torrent of powers plus four? For the damage? Uh, it's, it's like, like plus four to your plus. It caps, it caps, it caps a five. Oh, yeah. Lame. Yeah. Well, it right. takes five, though. Uh, <laughs> if there is two on the harvested brain, we advance. Uh, is by completing its objective. You stand in the lobby of the hotel, the building suddenly silent and seemingly empty. You hold the bottle of the strange liquid up to the light and mm. consider its contents you again. You have to put one of your clues back on the location to kill that guy because I have the 13th vision. Oh. I, I have the counter spell I could use for it too, but that's fine. Well, yeah, whatever. We did it. Uh, I guess I could have played a counter spell on it too. Your eye twitches as it traces the swirling, churning green solution within, and you shudder as you wonder what other effects this concoction may hold. You slide the bottle into your pocket, finding some measure of comfort and knowing that the strange going on to the Excelsior have been put to rest, at least for now. Resolution 1. Nobody will ever believe what you witnessed at the Excelsior. Not three days later, the hotel was open again, like nothing had ever happened. You know better, though. You witness it all firsthand. The events continue to haunt your dreams and your waking thoughts. Even now, you go out of your way to avoid the Excelsior, though weeks have passed and there has been no signs of any other nefarious schemes within its cursed walls. The only thing that can quiet the echoing memories of that horrible experience is a visit to the local speakeasy. But all the booze in the world can't keep the grisly visions from your nightmares, waking you in the dead of night with a violent start soaked in sweat. That's when you notice the person asking around town about the Excelsior. Innocent questions at first, but more prodding with each passing day. Surely they'll believe you. Somebody asks you. You may have broken three of the Excelsior's grasp, but there will be other victims, of that you're sure. You grab a piece of paper and the hastily scribble a note. It's all a facade, room 225 tonight. It's not over. If they can see past the veil of the Excelsior's operations, maybe others can too. It may not be too late to stop it all from happening again. Your campaign long before the Excelsior is quiet for now. The lead investigator must add the what have you done weakness to their deck. They may also choose to add the bloodstained dagger so he adds to their deck as well. They don't count towards the deck size. If the police are on your side, you can add Sergeant Monroe. If the police don't believe you, do not add Sergeant Monroe to any investigator's deck. Additionally, there, if there's at least one police enemy in the victory display, search the collection, collection for a detective or madness weakness, add to the lead investigator's deck, and victory X. My next draws were going to be really bad. All my weaknesses were lined up. Boom. Easy. Yeah, yours was very soft on you. Yes. My deck only had two cards left in it. <laughs> uh, that's a really cool, uh, that's a good one. That's a good uh, standalone. Yeah, no, it's I, a great standalone. I think it's, uh, it's has the capabilities, depending on how it feels on replay value, to be up against the uh, Carnival one. Mm -hmm. Once we play it a few more times and see a few more things, we'll do a review on it for people watching at home. But in the meantime, uh, man, thank God... Uh, it was just a war for the last little bit, and all yeah. we had to do was just kill people. Really well. All right, thanks for watching on YouTube. Have you played this one? If so, what do you think of it? If you haven't, tell us why you want to play it. Bye.